The Ukrainian war is a disaster for human rights. The human rights violations happening in Ukraine and the occupied territories, but then also the uh, migration, refugee flows. There have been well-documented uh, attacks on civilians, on civilian facilities, on health facilities, on education. But there are enormous human rights implications uh, beyond the borders. Uh, think of the millions, something like eight or nine million Ukrainians who've moved into the EU. It's been mostly women and children in most vulnerable situation. All of a sudden victimized by illicit trafficking of human beings and exploitation networks. What we're looking into are the rights of people who have left Ukraine and that they really do get everything they need to get. There's the issue of unequal treatment for different groups. Lack of focusing the measures on the, on the most vulnerable groups of people, including young people, so young LGBTQI plus people, young Roma people. There is systemic racism when it comes to the way we welcome refugees. And how easy it is for Ukrainian refugees to be integrated and included in European countries is something that is really great and that should happen with um, every other refugee, every other person who is seeking um, a safe country, education, etc. People have responded generously because they can identify with those who have been uh, damaged, who have been harmed, who have been tortured, who have been forced to leave their homes. The challenge for me, for Europe, would be couldn't we universalize that sense of identity? We need to stop violation of human rights, which is done every single day. Stand up for democratic institutions and the really basic things like the rule of law. We stand united uh, against those that uh, spread division, against those that spread hatred. 